close. Um, reserve. I, I just want to correct uh, just a few of the major distortions that we just heard from the distinguished gentleman from Louisiana. First of all, carjacking, as I understand it from this uh, act, and I'm willing to stand corrected, is not legal in the District of Columbia. On the contrary, it could be punished by up to 24 years. I think the gentleman from Louisiana misunderstood uh, my colloquy with the chairman of the committee because it's in Kentucky where carjacking is not a statutory offense. If you uh, were to charge the people who were carjacked recently um, in Louisville, you would have to charge them under armed robbery because there's not a carjacking statute. Washington, D.C. has one and has a penalty of up to 24 years, which is more than you could get in Kentucky for armed robbery. Um, the second point is he said that crime was out of control in uh, Washington, D.C. Um, well, the crime rate is higher in Bakersfield, California, which is represented by the Speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives, and um, uh, a major city, New Orleans, in uh, the gentleman's home state, quote from, this is from Fox News, closed 2022 with sky-high homicide rate not seen in decades. Horrific. New Orleans was given the grim distinction of murder capital of the U.S. in September. But we don't need to have some kind of race to the bottom Olympics in terms of which state or which city has the worst crime rate, we should get together to deal with the problem of gun violence, which is why I invite our colleagues to join us and more than 90% of the American people who support a universal violent criminal background check. But they oppose it, they are, uh, they are locked in the stranglehold of the NRA, and they won't back this, despite the fact that all the police unions they cited today about DC support a universal violent criminal background check. Why don't they do something about semi-automatic assault weapons on the streets and of our cities and towns across America? They won't do it. No, they would rather use crime simply as a, a political club to try to take away other people's democratic rights. Uh, Mr. Speaker, um, it is scandalous the way the majority purports uh, to stand up for local self-government and home rule when they want to trample all of the democratic rights of the people of Washington, D.C. Let's not sit as a super city council of 535 members doing the municipal minutia of the people of Washington. Let them govern themselves. We should be on the pathway to statehood for them, but at the very least, respect their right to home rule. Nobody cares more about public safety in D.C. than the people of D.C. Nobody cares more about the condition of their communities than the people who live in them. That is a basic precept of democratic ideas. I hope my colleagues will respect that, and I hope everyone will vote to reject um, this continuing series of disapproval resolutions against the people of Washington. I yield back.